So I want to talk about what to spend resin on, what you should be farming at different stages in the game as you progress slowly. So for example, this is your resin in the top right. It's your energy. You have 120 total. It replenishes um, all 120 after 16 hours or one resin every eight minutes. Early on in the game, once you hit adventure rank eight is when you unlock ley lines. Now there are two of them on the map, two in Liyue and two in, uh, or Liyue and two in Mondstadt, Leyline, Blossom of Wealth, and Revelation. These are your main sources for XP, character XP, and Mora. Now as you progress and level up your world level, do different stages, one, two, or three, these rewards will get better. So if you're um, starting out the game, this reward right here might be a little different than what you are seeing. I think at the very beginning you get like 18,000 gold or something. These get better as your world goes on, but at Adventure Rank 8, you should be spending your resin on the Leyline Blossom of Revelation. At least do it once, just to make sure your resin is refreshing. And then after that, you wait until other domains open up, such as Weapon Ascension Domains, um, Cecilia Garden, and Ming Yun Village. Okay, so first and foremost, I want to start off by saying Artifact Domains are bait. Um, I would not be spending resin on this. And just to put everything into perspective with what I have right here, we take a look at my character and take a look at these artifacts. I have not done a single artifact domain, but we have a bunch of four star artifacts and a few gold star artifacts or five stars. Here are the XP that we have right here. And we have two million Mora. I have not done the Leyline Blossom of Wealth, not a single time in the game. And I'm adventuring 34. As you can see, Adventure Rank 34, we haven't done it once. If we take a look at my character roster, we have level 60 main character, level 60 Lisa, um, level 60 Shang Ling, as well as our weapons, level 60, level 60, and level 60. So we've been able to manage to get all of those characters all leveled up while still maintaining 2 million gold and all the XP, and we haven't done the... Um, the Leyline Blossom of Wealth, not a single time in the game because we want to wait for our world level to increase for better rewards. 36,000 now. I'm world level 3, I believe. But once I hit level 35, it goes up to 4. Maybe that reward goes to like 50,000 gold for 20 resin. So I'd rather spend my 20 resin on something else rather than spending 20 resin for 36,000 gold when I could just wait, spend 30 or 20 resin for 50,000 gold later on. So in this investigation, the uh, experience tab for your adventurer's handbook, it does say you need to clear three domains, but it only says clear. You don't have to claim the prize. You don't have to spend your resin. You shouldn't be spending your resin. Just clear three domains. Do not claim the prize. If you need to claim any prizes, there will be a specific wording that tells you like this on chapter five. It says collect 10 rewards. That is when you need to claim from the Leyline Blossoms, whether it be the wealth or the revelation. And I recommend the revelation. It says 10 out of 10. So it does force you to use your resin in order to claim the prize. If we look at my achievement over here and go to, I think, the hero's journey, it says collect 200 rewards from Blossoms of Wealth or Blossoms of Revelation. I've only done it 12 times just for proof to show you I've never done it. For the uh the wealth one or i hope this is a little bit of proof i've done it 12 times and it was at adventure rank 8 because it was the very first thing you unlock and you should immediately spend your resin so you can start refreshing and i think i used it twice at the very beginning at adventure rank 8 and then once i got to chapter 5 i did it 10 times because it forced me to if you're at amora these sigils that you have you want to go to the souvenir shop in monstat or leeue spend them on the mora spend it on the mora Right now, all these sigils that I have for just going around and getting chests and stuff like that, I think this is like a total of 500,000. That's, that's half a million right here based off of that. This is half a million money at the, the Mora that I have right here. You're, you're wondering what to spend your resin on. Um, I've avoided all the Mora domains or, or ley lines. I've avoided all the artifact domains. Um, the only thing I focus on is... As well, as well as the revelation, unless I was forced to do it. I've avoided that. The only thing I focus my resin on at Adventure Rank 34 as of now are Weapon Ascension domains. These, Cecilia Garden, and the one at Mingyun Village. The Talent Up material, Forsaken Rift, to level up your character's talents, which will level up your basic attack, skills, and ultimate. And then the bosses around the map to get materials to ascend your character. 
And now there's a certain way to go about this. You want to farm just the bare minimum. So whatever adventure rank you are, whatever adventure rank you are, you want to make sure you look at your weapons. You look at your weapon, you go to enhance, or let's choose someone else, right? Go to your weapon, you click on enhance, and you see what materials you need. You need three of these, right? You farm for just the bare minimum that you need, and then you stop. Because every time you farm and you ascend your weapon, you need to wait for another adventure rank in order to ascend it again. And by that, I mean this weapon right here, level 60. I need to wait until level 35 in order to ascend it. So I wouldn't necessarily farm for the materials until I hit 35 in case there's a new domain, a better domain that opens up. That'll allow me to get better materials for a better chance of having those items drop. Which would save you resin. Because if you did the other dungeon, the one at 30, you'd be spending more resin for a lower drop chance compared to doing it at a higher adventure rank with a better drop chance, spending the same exact resin, 20 resin each. Now, this is a pretty bad example because I did farm prematurely for this. At adventure rank 30, you should farm. You should pre-farm for your weapon. And the reason why is because the weapon domains, if we take a look at them, or the weapon ascension material domains, if we take a look at it, Mingyun Village, the next one unlocks at 30 or 40. So this one, Electrostatic Field 3, unlocks at Adventure Rank 30, right? So when you're 25, when you're 25 right here, Adventure Rank 25, you wouldn't pre-farm for this because you need purple ones, right, to level up your things, or I don't know how many you need. But you wouldn't pre-farm. So when you're adventuring 25, for example, you would not pre-farm. You would wait until 30, unlock this domain that has better drops, and then farm it. But because you're adventuring 30 and there's not one that unlocks at 35, you can still pre-farm and be fine. But once we get to adventuring 35 and I'm able to ascend my weapon, and then it tells me I need like one of these or two of these gold ones, right? I'm not going to try and farm this domain until I hit 40. And then I'll do it. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so I do hope that was helpful. I, I hope I didn't lose any of you guys there and this was um, clearer to understand. If you do have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'll be more than happy to respond. Other than that, um, I hope to catch you guys next time.